I'd been thinking about building a larger quadcopter for quite a while. You can see back in 2019, I bought these aluminium motor mounts in particular to fit onto some 20 millimeter carbon fiber tubes I'd also bought. And what really set it off going was that uh, on AliExpress, I could see these quite chunky motors at an amazingly good value price. I think I even paid less than that. And uh, these are the motors that seem to be on 10 inches that do a lot of parcel delivery in Ukraine at the moment. One way deliveries indeed. This is me fitting the motor, just testing it on the end of a 20 millimeter carbon tube. And then what I did was design the plate you can see here so the clamps would all work with it and I cut it out in uh, plywood and this is me testing the length see if it would fit how much tube I would need etc just checking the clearance and then I cut the tubes and did a test fit again so this is me getting close to deciding how how long these tubes would need to be whether they would fit would everything go together so I then went on to have them cut in four millimeter carbon fiber at a local company to me uh, they did a lovely job but they weren't cheap next stage was to uh, attach the motors to the plates uh, attach 60 amp ESCs but they're uh, digital and no BEC in them and this is then fitted to the ends of the tubes everything's marked up and at this point I thread lock thread locked all the all the bolts looking quite neat there so each arm has its own motor and ESC the wiring all goes down inside the tubes and this is the mess you get inside the wiring and then I use a Matek hex PDB board and this is the uh, arty look at the motor which is a 3115 900 kV motor I initially set up the top plate to have the FC on top the flight control on top along with the DJI the original Vista air unit on the back and the ELRS receiver and it's two aerials it's a diversity aerial receiver and then I thought well I really don't need the flight control on the top so I redesigned it to look like this so as you can see we've got the camera the DJI in the middle and the aerials on the back a you know, more sort of conventional layout and in particular they're all well out of the way of the props and uh, it's all looking quite nice I quite like it next was to fly it